There I am. Hello. Hi, Dr. Keith. So great to see you again. Uh, thank you for being our test patient. So we're going to be demonstrating very shortly uh, our novel form of remote photoplasmography, which we call transdermal optical imaging. So in a second, when we start this system, we're going to be able to capture vital signs and some other patient parameters I'll explain in a sec. What we're doing is similar to the device that goes over people's finger, the oximeter that measures pulse rate and oxygen level. We're able to see the pulse wave in the tip of the finger, uh, but that uses a direct light source. Here we're using reflected light. So light is coming into your face and the skin of your face is translucent. So beneath it, as the cardiac cycle varies, as the blood pulses through the face, we can see and capture that pulse wave. Uh, and not just one region like the finger, multiple regions of the face. We call them regions of interest, but it's probably 23 or 26 different regions that we're capturing measurements on. We uh, use that analysis and uh, pixelated images of blood flow uh, and compared or captured from 44, 45,000 patients. We have their ground truth. So that means that we had, for example, their fasting blood sugar. We knew their cholesterol level and their cardiac risk. But we also measured their blood pressure by auscultation method across a full spectrum or full range uh, of measurements. And so training the models with uh, machine learning and some deep AI uh, neural nets to analyze and train the models to recognize uh, these various physiologic states. So uh, we'll start this measurement here in a sec and it'll take a, just a second or two to fire up. You're going to get some prompts and it'll tell you when to come into the screen a little bit closer till, yeah, till the green disappears and that looks pretty good. So we'll start the measure. So if I were visiting you by a telemedicine conference, Miriam, I, I would be uh, discussing with you, uh, you know, your physical state. I would have you just hold still for uh, a few minutes while we capture some readings. And we can see that Miriam is very, uh, very relaxed, hopefully. Um, and the beauty of this technology is it also gives us some prompts uh, that we're getting good signals or good measures. So we're uh, able to see the pulse wave and when we're getting a good signal, uh, we have indicators of lighting. So there's five stars across the bottom, which means the lighting is even and we're able to see all those regions uh, of interest. And the signal noise ratio, also an indicator of how strong the signal is that we're capturing for the pulse wave. Uh, and heart rate variability has come up. Heart rate, we're seeing 88. Now I'm getting a live feed of your vitals. I can see your systolic, diastolic blood pressure as we speak. So over the next two minutes, there'll be a scan. We'll let this run uh, and it'll do some analysis, not only for your vitals, but we'll see some other parameters come up in a sec. This is incredible for me as a family doc times 30 years. One of the challenges in COVID, we were really restricted uh, in being able to engage with our patients. I was locked up in my office, they were locked up at home. Really, what sort of interactions could we have aside from a video call? Now we can layer in the ability to reach into the screen and capture some very significant data and measurements. Now we're still investigational at this point, so we'll go through the proper processes to get this cleared as a, an FDA approved medical device. But what fascinating technology, this will change telemedicine as we know it and being able to interact and capture measurements with our patients without a device, right? So we're just gonna be using what you already have, that uh, Zoom call or whatever platform that might be available to us to interact by video and this can layer in and uh, capture those vital signs. So just incredible. We've run for a full two minutes, so we'll end the scan now. Uh, and we'll just scroll up for a sec and see all of the various things that we captured. Yeah, excellent. So again, vital signs you can see, and those were real measurements. So this is a summary of that two minute scan. Your blood pressure is amazing, 120 over 80, obviously being normal, you're nice and uh, relaxed and very fit. Uh, but we're also seeing cardiovascular risk. Now I wouldn't expect you as a young, otherwise healthy woman to have cardiovascular risk unless there was some other condition going on. And this is assuring me that really there is nothing to worry about. You're not at risk for heart disease or stroke. 
Cardiac workload is just a product measurement. If you take the systolic blood pressure, multiply it by heart rate, and we take a logarithm of that, we get an indicator. The higher the number, the more concerned we would be, or the indicator that you would be less fit. Vascular capacity, again, the elasticity of those arteries. So that pulse wave in folks who are very fit is a rapid ascent and a slow relaxation of those arteries. So the higher that reading in seconds, the better that it is. Heart rate variability, again, because we can see the pulse wave, the beat to beat variability. If we are very fit, uh, we say rest and digest, it means our parasympathetic system is active and heart rate variability will be very high. If we're stressed, if the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response is engaged, then heart rate variability will be very low. So this is giving me a rating of 19. So again, it may be the stress of having to do an extra measurement and appear on the camera today that may uh, have added to the burden for you. Uh, but we translate heart rate variability also to mental stress index. So the higher that number, it's a suggestion, the more stressed that you are. But again, even that, think of a live feed and think of the uh, interactions that I might be able to have with a patient now uh, to have some health literacy discussions and talk about their conditions. And this is when I would open it up and say, okay, Mariam, let's, uh, let's chat about this. What's going on in your life? Why are you stressed, right? So, yeah, beautiful. But otherwise all healthy? Otherwise all healthy. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Keith. Take care.